WOKAFM Douglas, Waycross, Tifton, Dixie Country 106.7, home of Rebel Radio with Matt. Hey, what's going on? It's Matt, host of Rebel Radio right here on Dixie Country 106.7. I've got a lot to say in a little amount of time. Real quick, though, I must take a Diet Coke break. Hang on. Okay, I'm ready. Coney 2012 pisses me off. That's right. As I just said, Coney 2012, the video that's been viewed over 41 million times in less than two days, pisses me off. Why? Because I bet you out of the 41 million people that right now are acting like they care so much about what's going on in Uganda, sadly, what, not even 0.0001% of those people are actually on the ground in Uganda doing something about it? So let me think. You buying a t-shirt so you can look really cool and act like you care, that's going to help anybody in Uganda right now. Hang on a second now. Let's talk about this real quick. I'm going to go through some facts. Uh, printed off of USA Today. That's my source. USA Today. Everybody's watched the video. How many people have Googled to research the message behind the video? Doubt. Very many people. Coin 2012 has been viewed 41 million times on YouTube. Over 500,000 people have liked it or shared it on Facebook. Uh, even more have tweeted it. People like Justin Bieber, Will Smith, P. Diddy are talking about it. But here's the deal. Uh, it's really about filmmaker Jason Russell. All right. If anything, Jason Russell benefits and also his uh, group called Invisible Children. They urge visitors to send a donations and buy T-shirts, bracelets, posters and action kits. Action kits. Uh, this money is supposed to go to help those uh, obviously in Uganda. Now, there's a lot of people, including myself, who feel that Russell has oversimplified the conflict in Central Africa. They, the message says that basically that Kony is the sole source of evil in the part of the world there, and simply by sending $30 to get an action kit, you're going to solve this problem. Come on, man. Seriously? This is a joke. This is a fad. This is something to be really cool right now about. I'm going to get me a Kony t-shirt. I'm going to act like I care. Well, seriously, let's look at this. Obama administration, now, whether you like or don't like Obama, that's not where I'm going with this. But Obama's administration has sent 100 special operation troops back in October. Okay, what is it? This is March. Back in October, Obama administration sent 100 special operation troops to work with Uganda forces to find Kony and his band of fighters. An additional group of U.S. forces is working with the Congo and other neighboring countries to catch Kony, because we don't even know where Kony is, or if he's alive, by the way. Many people are questioning the timing of the video's release because the U.S. military is already involved, as I just said. Also, they, in, they question the integrity of the fundraising effort. Out of uh, Invisible Children's financial statements from last year, 37%, did you hear me? Just 37% of the budget was actually spent on programs in Africa. 37%. Okay. Here's why I'm personally upset. I'm a father of a six-year-old son. I struggle to pay my own bills. I struggle to take care of my son and meet his needs. I have spent many hours and a lot of time and effort within the communities that my listening area services helping people like Salvation Army. Uh, I've been down to Guatemala and worked with Compassion International and seen hurt there. The truth is hurt is everywhere. And if you truly care about people in pain, I do not want to belittle or make light of those that are in need in Uganda. But where do we cross the line or stop the, the world police? I mean, we as Americans must help ourselves first before we can help our others. I mean, if you can't meet the needs of your own family, then what's 30 bucks going to do to help somebody in Uganda? Help yourselves first. Help your neighbor first if you truly care. The, th the fact is, I believe... That this is just a fad. I'm going to hit send or share and act like I really care about Coney. I want to look cool. I want the attention on me. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of people that go to funerals of people just to get attention. Oh, 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 I'm so upset that they're gone. I can't believe they passed away. Ah, oh. but the truth is when they were alive, you were talking behind their back about them. See, I don't like people doing things for attention. I like people that are doing things for true action. If you truly care about people in Uganda, you cared about them before this Kony 2012 because you knew about Kony before the video came out. True? The truth is, is that 
If a Christian organization such as World Vision, who helps those in need and hungry worldwide, Salvation Army, Goodwill, Compassion International, if those agencies put this video out, they'd got no attention like this. True? Truth is that Christianity is not as popular. But oh, this Coney 12 uh, with Jason Russell as a filmmaker and this hip new thing, that's cool, right? That pisses me off. The truth is, is that I've spent hours and hours with each one of those organizations, World Vision, Salvation Army, Goodwill, Compassion International. Truth is, I know people in hurt, in pain, abused, and more in our listening area as we speak. So here's what I do. I have a challenge for you. Okay, if you're going to spend 30 bucks, great. Go help those in Uganda. But would you spend $30 on somebody that's hurting in your own county? So here's the challenge. Again, I got a challenge for you. There's a reason for this video. Facebook.com slash Dixie Country. That's Facebook.com slash Dixie Country. I dare ask you sometime this weekend to go take a picture of somebody that you find that's in need within your community. Look around. Open up your eyes. If you'll click share and talk about Coney 2012, will you at least go see if there's somebody else also maybe a little more local in need that that $30 could help? How about the person like the, uh, the single mom whose husband left her? And she's got two kids and she's working two jobs to try to meet the needs of her kids and her kids don't even have the school supplies that they need the tools to succeed in school do we care about that do we care about the kids that are uh, abused at home and are, are going hungry uh, abused by their stepfathers raped by their stepfathers do we care about that do we care about the elderly who are sick and shut and cannot afford the medicine that they desperately need to take to live longer do we worry about them why are those stories not being shared I dare ask you, if you're going to share and be excited about Coney 2012, let's be excited about our own local community in 2012. Look around. I dare ask you, post a picture. Take a picture of somebody that you found that's in need in your community. Share a story about somebody you know in need. I know of tornado, uh, you know, straight line winds or tornadoes, the storm damaged uh, communities in Dixie Country. Who's out there chopping the trees down with a chainsaw and taking care of those that cannot afford to do so? No one's sharing those stories. Why? Why is no one talking about the homeless in downtown Douglas, downtown Tifton, downtown Waycross, downtown Vidalia? What, what about those that are out of work in Valdosta, those that are, uh, can't continue their education uh, at Valdosta State or ABAC? I mean, I, I don't want to belittle what's going on in Uganda. But how can we help others if we can't help ourselves first? Do you truly care about those in need? Or are you just clicking share to look really cool? Are you going to church so you can be seen? Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. And then going out on Saturday night and being, you know, a sinful person. Are you going to someone's funeral so you can be seen and act like you don't care? Or like that you do care, I should say, when before they were dead, you didn't care. I'm just so sick of hypocrisy. I'm just trying to keep it real. That, that's that's I, I'm not saying I'm a saint, but you don't find me at church praising God acting like I'm perfect You don't see me bragging like I'm the perfect dad that's on time with his child support You don't see me doing anything but trying to use the avenue I have uh, Which is radio and broadcasting to spread the word of things that I see with my own eyes I'm afraid to claim Christ or talk about I'm a Christian because I realize that all the time I don't act like a Christian should but those that you see all around, oh, praise God, praise God, beware of those people because chances are they're doing it to get attention to begin with. Coney 2012, uh, pray for those in Uganda. But 30 bucks on a kit is probably not going to do much when only 37% of that's actually going to help. Take that 30 bucks and do something more local with it. I dare you. Go to facebook.com slash Dixie Country and share a story of someone that you know in need in your community, in your backyard. Take a picture of somebody that you know are in need. Show us the hurt in your neighborhoods. If you really care, share that. Facebook.com slash Dixie Country. That's all I got to say about that. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, stalk us now. Like our page and join in on the fun. So Facebook.com slash Dixie Country.